which I think we're just discussing whether the game should go ahead. But he's wasting no time, Andrew Brace. Says, look, just uh, get it underway. So I look forward to watching this with you. See Exeter at the last set. Engagement, trying to win that penalty, trying to secure easy field position. It's just a free kick, so again, do you now? Usually you'd probably scrummage again. Ruck speed against Exeter doing that, they'll come unstuck, but if they can hit and get the ball back quickly and then immediately go again, they've got a chance to get some momentum. It was a quick decision to take the three points. Cummings just being told to wait there for a moment. Opportunity now for Exeter, created by Slade, but the ball is lost and a chance now for Jack Dempsey, the Australian number eight, charging on. Just outside the Exeter 22, a little stab through and a chase for the corner. And the ball into touch. I think that um, we've applied a fair amount of pressure playing the rugby that we want to play. We're getting some speed of ball. A couple of little errors at, at uh, knock-ons and stuff, just take the pressure off. But other than that, we've had a reasonably good start and we lead on the scoreboard. I'm glad it's not only me that can, can't see the far side. Thank you, Danny. And there we go. That's who we're talking about, the Josh Mackay strength. He looks a bit like Hamish Watson. He can do the damage like him as well, but he's playing at full back. Fog in Adelaide, is it? Yeah. There we are. Point. Steam rising to join the fog from the two packs as they come together to scrum again. And this time the free kick goes to Glasgow. Was it an early? Same as over there. Ferguson just needs to drop his height a little bit, anchor Point. down, stop them attacking him. Yes. Free kick, pre engage from Glasgow. So the scrums have been a bit of a mess so far. Richie Gray play. I think he's so many years lost through injury. Since he burst in the scene as a 20-year-old giant, he was so dynamic in his early days for Scotland. And George Turner suddenly breaks free, and Turner taken down by a flirt. He can't quite get there. Glasgow trying to get that ball out. Extra shutting it down, but coming back for a, a penalty to Glasgow. Is that advantage still there for Glasgow? Good smothering tackle by Johnny Hill. Going through to a Pelotu, making ground and finding support from Mackay. Josh Mackay into the extra 22. The ball's still there for Glasgow. Down the blind side they go. And a chance for Simmons to clear. Gives it on to Flaherty. They're flying down that left wing, keeps that ball alive, and then the tackle comes in. And the game is lifting in pace, and the ball lost now by extra Glasgow there, an opportunity. This one better, so a tougher kick, but uh, Glasgow do have that six-point lead now. Extra to deal with, and it's uh, it's shickling on the tight head there now for set. the visitors. Stay. And penalty to Glasgow from that scrum. Three more points for Glasgow, they move out to a nine-point lead, so... Uh... It's coming around nicely, they like it in the crowd and they knew it was good. Wonderful kick from Ross Thompson. Not for me, Lodge. And then Yindel. Away now, away now! And up to within about Wait. ten metres. So is this the opportunity? As Kirsten takes it in, Yanis Kirsten, the South African back rower. Still with Exeter, seven phases, ten minutes to go, 12 points behind, but a try now will oh, no. lift them right back into this game. Defiant defensive cries of Glasgow around Scotston. Five metres out, though. Just slows for a moment. Glasgow set their defence and Last tried seat. to smother the attack one more time, but the Last forwards seat. for Exeter are doing what they have done over so many years. Have they still got that power? That control, that drive to the line, shickling. The replacement tight head is in there. Up to the line, not quite over. 12 phases, and Exeter patient, waiting, driving for that line. Held up again. Try, says the referee. First try of the game, and with 10 minutes to go, not quite that in the second half. Exeter do have a try, and they do have life. Rob Baxter was talking about before, being accurate and getting into this red zone by carrying the ball. But what's impressive, but people often forget when they only watch the highlights, is they can play some decent rugby to get into that position, but then they're just patient. And it's another one landed by Ross Thompson. He's had one miss, which was a 
more straightforward kick, but this one again from 40 metres or so. That's a bit better. There we are. Stick on that. More. Here McDonald takes it down. Say more. Just held at the back of Mall and Mall, which is roaring towards that extra try line, breaks for a moment, but then the score. Try and it goes. Johnny Matthews gets the touchdown. And the replacement hooker surrounded by celebrating teammates and trying to finish things off. For Glasgow, they move to 20 points. Bound onto you, that ball has to be transferred through those bodies. But once they get into a set position, there was only going to be one result, wasn't it? And this place. Well, Ross Thompson kicked most of them, Duncan Weir is on to kick the last of them and Glasgow have in the end what is an emphatic victory on the scoreboard far closer than that